Hello, this is Cartman Productions, and today we're looking at the Franken Scooter. Here she is. Franken scooter. So this thing started out as two main frame pieces. The front end is built out of a Razor E100 electric scooter. A 2x4 is driven through the center of it, bolted to the rear fender and the floor panel. All the electronics have been stripped and we're left with the front tire and front braking system from the scooter. These front brakes are rim brakes on a plastic rim. So if you slam the brakes too hard, the rim starts melting. The rear half here is a slightly modified version of a old Washang gas powered skateboard. Pull the seat board off here. The engine section is bolted down to a two by six with the four mounting bolts that it would have originally used to bolt to the board. This thing had two springs on the axle that allowed the whole thing to tilt. That was how you steered the skateboard. But of course we have steering right here. So we swapped out those two springs with two bolts and that is how you adjust the tilt of the scooter. And the frame started out originally as the board. So this whole cargo rack section here was not there to begin with. The original idea was to make it kind of like a gas powered chariot. We figured out pretty quickly it was gonna be unstable. So we decided to put the cargo rack on the back and use it as a little gas powered scooter thing. So the passenger, sits in the back, it's like that. They just kind of chill here, enjoy the ride, you know. Hope it doesn't flip over. Now driving this thing is a little bit interesting because this is the control panel off of the original skateboard. The cables are not long enough to reach up to the handlebars. So we zip tied the control panel onto the foot plate area of the driver. You have to sit like this and use your heel on the throttle like this to drive it. Now the motor behind me, this is a 50cc Washang two-stroke weed whacker motor, and you start it just like a weed whacker. Let's go ahead and take this sucker for a test drive. That's it for today's Vehicle Spotlight. To find out about other projects such as the three-seater cart, check me out at Cartman Productions on YouTube. Till then, I'll see you. Sometimes I wonder where we come up with this stuff. Two hours later.